And I'm gonna lift the head out of the way. Now, we gotta get the projector focused and uh, good for printing. And to do that, I'm gonna lift the head out of the way and I'm gonna use this handy projector alignment sheet. Um, Let's configure this for 75, 50. Go to, come on, come on. 50. 50. All right, so let's do 50. Let's lay that in here for now. And when you take a look at this, um, we've got the grid. This is the grid printed out by um, Jens, one of our early users, and I want to take a quick tour of what we're going to be messing with. So I've got here, I'll put the lens lock here, and we've got our lenses down here. I can adjust the zoom to some extent and the focus. All right, and so let's just see randomly where are we at. This is the smallest I got, so I'm not at 50 sizing. Um, I'm going to need to get smaller in order to get over to 50. So now, so I can get a relatively good range, I'm going to move the zoom lever to be about the middle. I'm going to get it reasonably well focused. And then I'm going to have to raise the projector to make it smaller, right? So the smaller this image is, the higher the resolution. And to make this image smaller, I'm going to have to raise the projector and get it closer. So remember that previously I'd only tightened two of these screws. I'm going to loosen one on this side. I'm going to loosen one on this side. And then I'm going to lift until it looks like I'm at around 50. Let me check the, can't quite get in focus at that zoom level. We're pretty close here. Yeah, so we're pretty close here. This seems fairly decent. I'm not going to get the size exact from the height. That would be pretty annoying. So I get it close with the height, and then I will um, lock it in with. with the with the zoom so let's see if we're going down to 50 we need to cut this down to 50 we can't quite get it in there if you got scissors so we cut down that sheet to just include the 50 parts since we're shooting for 50 microns. So now I'm going to focus it. Oops. Can't. I'm gonna have to drop this a little bit. I got a little bit too close.
and dropped a little too far. <laughs> Oops. here and you're not going to be able to get every part of the grid totally in focus you really want to focus on getting the grid in focus around the the center and the right of the machine you know facing forward So that focus is pretty good. Now because we have the machine propped up this way, the force of gravity will move the lens. And that's why we need the lens lock. The lens lock we're just going to stick in, and I think you can see this through the bottom of the, of the, um, of the vat. I'm just going to stick this in here, wedge it in, and that's going to lock the focus in place. A little bit big, so I'll zoom it a little bit smaller and then focus it back in. Went a little bit too far, but that's good because that means I'm not no longer in the range where I have to mess with the. Uh, with the projector a little bit bigger and then let's this here focus down A little bit bigger still. And voila, kind of. And then we want to do the final leveling on the projector. Um, we can do that starting with the bubble level and we'll see that I'm actually pretty close. Um, and then we can also eyeball how the shape of the grid changes with respect to the printed grid. And so long as it looks pretty square end to end, we're good. So I only need to shift it, I only need to shift it slightly and now I lock down the second side, and then I can lock down the remaining two. And now that we're locked in, let me just double check final focus. Alright. 
And there we go. We've got the lens lock in, and we're in at 50 microns. So now we're, we're all calibrated. So the last question might be, what if I was using the large build plate? How are we, how would we level that? Roughly speaking, the, the leveling process is the, is the same. Um, instead of using a sheet of paper underneath, I might just kind of lift this a bit. Um, it is a little bit harder to see deflection in the film with the large build plate because there's a lot less of the film visible, but you can still, you can still see it. Um, and the process is, roughly speaking, um, the same as with the, with, the, with the small build plate. So now the printer is ready, ready to print. We can zero, go back to, to, uh, to Z-Home. We've got our grid going. We can fill the vat with resin and print away.